Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Now, we have no rollback. Everything is pretty much the way you saw it when we ended up last night or yesterday afternoon. And uh, we're, we're probably not going to be having a sunrise to look at this morning. I do see a little bit of, you might say, pink in the sky. But when I was outside about an hour or so ago putting out the garbage, today is garbage day, you know, it's kind of funny. You would think that would, what with yesterday being Christmas Day and today being Boxing Day, you know, uh, Christmas Day is a national holiday, and I think, I think Boxing Day is too. And anyway, you would think that the, the garbage schedule would be moved back a couple of days, you know. Uh, and in our garbage day, which we, if it was Monday last week, well, this week it, it should be like Wednesday or something like that. And, you know, the, you would think the garbage people would have a day off to be with their families and whatnot. But uh, no, it doesn't work that way. It's uh, Monday. It, it's been Monday for me for years now. Uh, <laughs> and it never changes. doesn't matter. Holidays... Uh, it's kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know, they, well, I guess garbage is sort of a, they feel it's sort of a necessary thing, maybe. Uh, but I, I think we could probably wait a couple of days. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. What do I know? There's probably a real good reason why they're doing it the way they're doing it. Now, yesterday when I was editing out the, uh, the uh, scene where I had... Uh, uh, turned my electric drill into a a mini lathe <laughs> I was as I replied to model maker Paul I was disgusted <laughs> I can do better than that uh, I, I just uh, well part of the problem is the the shape of the jaws in this chuck they're they're just all wrong instead of grabbing being able to grab so onto something they're, they're like this, and you just can't get something really small into them. Well, that's not what they were meant to do. Uh, I got the same problem with my metal lathe down, down in my workshop. It's, it's the same way. I can't put something really, really small into it. But then that's not what it was meant for. Uh, for those of you who are interested and you want to know how big is that lathe, it has a, a one inch, uh, or maybe a tiny bit bigger, through hole. Okay, uh, so that's that's the, basically the size of it. And uh, usually everything I want to turn that's long is smaller in diameter than that anyway. So uh, it, it works for me. And it was cheap. It, you know, it's it's what you would call uh, the the term uh, cheap Chinese lathe. You know, it it is. It was it was really inexpensive, but you got a lot for your money. It, it's it's a great workshop home workshop lathe. Uh, okay, enough about my metal lathe. Now, I am going to take this down into the workshop and I'm going to see if I can't adjust the jaws on the grinder so that they're a little bit more pointy and a little bit more precise when they come together. Right now, they're, they're not, the jaws aren't coming together perfectly even as well as not being pointy. Um, I, it's pretty hard to describe what I want, what I want to do here. And, and then I am going to actually redo this this one. It's the you'll see three on there. Well, the one on the back that's not the that that's just an extra. But the one on the left is the one that we we turned down yesterday. So there's still lots of plastic there that I can turn it down even a little bit more to bring it to the exact size uh, of, of the original. Um, you know, I got to do what's of interest to me. I know that probably we're going to get very little done on the model ship now because of that, but I, I got to I got to do what's interesting to me, and uh, I just sort of video it. And if you like it, fine. And if you don't, well, you're just going to have to wait. And we will get back to this. Uh, I keep talking about painting that part that has to go here, and then I never do it. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's. Uh, I was going to say recompose, but. Uh, uh, did I mention there's no rollback? <laughs> yeah, there's, there, there's no rollback. I wish there was, so we'd have something to 
model related that we could fall back on. But uh, I'm going to see if I can't get my camera on the tripod and lug it down to the workshop without falling down the stairs. And <laughs> we'll see you in the basement. Now about our sunrise here. It was nice at that moment, but very soon after that, it just dwindled down to nothing again. Well, maybe tomorrow. Now this may not work. It could well be that I'm going to be trying to get a hold of Dewalt and find out if I can buy a replacement chuck. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I, I think it's going to work. And the plan is to just hold it, instead of holding it straight flush on like this, I want to have it at a bit of an angle so that I end up with my jaws pointy. <laughs> I'll, I'll move you in here uh, so that you can watch what's going on. As I said, this may not work. Hey, won't know if we don't try, right? Okay, here we go. I got my safety glasses on, sort of. If memory serves correctly, I don't think that this uh, wheel is 100% true. I've been meaning to buy a truing tool and, and true it up, but uh, anyway, let me zoom you in here. Well, it, it actually, I, I don't have my strong glasses here, but I, I think we pretty much got it the way I want it now. It's still going to work for uh, holding a, a drill bit, and yet it should also work good for grasping onto something really small. Uh, I don't know if I should put this in, you know, run the wire brush on this or not. Maybe, maybe I will. I'll just, just take it over and... Hook it under the wire brush. You want to come along? Now I had been thinking that maybe if I was to open the chuck up and get the the uh, the bits uh, or the, the the jaws rather opened up a little bit, it might sort of smooth the burrs on the edge. But then on the other hand, other hand, it could end up kind of rounding them off so that it's not going to have the the bite that that I want on something really small. So I'm going to leave them closed up just the way they are. And I and my hope is that when I open these up and close them up again, they're going to come back in the exact same place. Uh, well, we'll soon know. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Action! Gotta have a little bit of fun.
Now I don't think there was a whole lot of iron filings in there, but uh, there's less now. Okay, let's uh, stick the macro lens on and uh, see how precise this is going to be on something small. You know, I, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take uh, and, and remove the paint off of that one we worked on yesterday and just sort of continue on. Um, at least that's the plan. Okay, you're going to see most of this along with me for the first time. I have not tried our little part yet in the chuck. About the only thing I did try was to see if I could rig up some sort of a trigger lock here. And don't anybody comment and say, well, it has a trigger lock. You just push that button. This button is to change the direction, forward or reverse. It doesn't, it doesn't lock the, the trigger in place. I, I do have a drill, other drills that do have locks, but uh, this one doesn't. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is uh, hopefully we can get our lathe going. Then I can use both hands. Okay, now, uh, you know what, I'm going to put the macro lens on. I'm going to have, try and have it so that you're looking more straight down onto it. Yesterday you were, you were coming in from, from the side and you couldn't really see, see my uh, cutter here. Oh, speaking of cutters, I, I put a new number uh, 18 blade on, on the, in my uh, holder here. And uh, it's never been used, so it should, it should scrape really well. Because that's, that's what we're doing, we're turning this into a scraper. Uh, Okay, let's let's recompose here. Well, here we go. I basically only get one shot at this. So let's open this up now. And hopefully these are going to come back out all together in a nice even manner. And it looks like they are. All right, now. I don't want it too tight or it'll crush that, uh, that peg. Now we'll get our, our drill going here. Let's try it first and see if it looks like it's going to be true. Hmm, not bad. Not bad, okay. Okay, and this is going to be our steady rest. Maybe it's a little higher this way. Oh, it's actually lower. That's about it. Okay, now here we go with our with our scraper. I'm just going to just going to take it down and even it off there.
Okay, now the idea is, and this this I couldn't do yesterday, was uh, take this out and get it back in the other way. It just, whoops, oh no. <laughs> now don't fall on the floor. Where did it go? Oh. Don't mind my fingers here. All right, now. Now this I couldn't do yesterday. Partly because I was kind of going at it a bit wrong, but mainly because, okay, now tighten that down. Hopefully I'm not squashing the plastic too bad. Now the idea is that we should be able to come in and and just uh, come just up against that flange that we cut before and just leave it. In other words, we don't want to take it off, right? It does not appear to be straight. Let's try it again now. Well, I guess we're gonna have to take it the way it is. Sorry about my unkempt fingers here. Uh, I think that I've taken sand the edge down just a little bit here, very, very carefully. I think that this is gonna be a little bit more exactly like the other one, except for the little marks that the, that the, uh, that the uh, chuck has put on there. But I, I do believe that uh, once that's painted, they're not going to really show. At least that's my hope. Okay, I was going to put this in my uh, in my pin vise and try and, and get rid of that burr that's on the on the outside there. Then I realized, well, why not use this? It's already set up. Just turn it around again. Whoops. And. Uh, I don't even, I don't think we even need to use my trigger lock. I can just, I should be able to do this with one hand and, and the idea will not be not to go too far over like this and, and have it flat because then I'll be taking that, that little, uh, whatever you call it. Okay, here, here we go. Still there? Maybe I should be using the medium stick. Well, let's paint it and see what we got. Okay, now you should be able to see that because we have changed the shape of the nose of the jaws, we can now grab on 
uh, to some to a very small part. I could probably even have this a little further out more if I wanted to. I was going to put this in the pin vise, and then I realized, well, I, I've already got it, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> in a pin vise, so to speak. So I just turned it around here. Now I, I could see where the jaw had bitten onto the onto this top part here and made little marks, but I can I, I'm pretty pretty much willing to bet the farm that uh, you're not going to see that from arm's length or even closer. So I I don't know if I should put an, an extra coat on this or not. I think no, I think that's going to be okay. Paint's dry. And uh, how does it compare? Well, the original's on the left, obviously. And, uh, well, I think we did make an improvement. I know you might say I wasted the whole morning, but I had a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it's better. Okay, let's move on. But before we move on, I think we should do a perspective here. Now I can honestly say, I did not realize I had wasted so much time doing this. 133. I'm gonna have to call it quits here. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed when I was uh, uh, editing out my opening scene a while ago. Uh, well, actually, it's quite a while ago now, I guess. But anyway, I got a notification that uh, UK Jason is going to be doing something on Easy Line, and I just want to see what he's up to. I haven't seen it yet, so uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, all take a look. <laughs> we'll, let's give him a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. All being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>